Bad roads and epileptic power supply are some of the features that trail Nigeria's failing infrastructure. This decadence has continued in spite of huge funds spent on rehabilitation and maintenance by successive governments. How can the federal government address the poor state of infrastructure across the country? My guest on this week's edition of the program looks at the nation's infrastructure challenges. There. Thank you for joining me on the program this week. I'm Gloria Umezuke. The plan by the federal government to shut the Namdi Azikiwe Airport in Abuja for maintenance and rehabilitation has raised questions and concerns about the poor state of maintenance of the nation's infrastructure, including road, water, electricity, and so much more. Now, how can we get it right? My guest is the national president of the Nigerian Society of Engineers. Are coming up next. The nation's infrastructure deficit is affecting investment drive in the country. Well, this is one area government wants to take steps to address. Take a listen. Nigeria has the demographics, natural resources and economic potential to become Africa's powerhouse in the coming decades. However, poor infrastructure has over the years held back its economic development. From bad roads across the six geopolitical zones to ill-equipped health facilities, epileptic power supply, which had crippled small businesses, inadequate housing and a spate of building collapse, the current situation is disenchanting. The government should come to our aid because here we have multi-grade classes two, three classes, you know, the structure is only three classes, and we have many children here. We are really suffering. And Junior World is the largest world within the local government, Wamba. Therefore, communication from here to Wamba, we are finding it very, very difficult. We find it difficult to go to the town, as to buy, sell, or to sell our goods. There's no way. When Whenever from June to July, when the rainfall we, we, we are cut off, just as we people of this side were not in Nigeria. The effects of the deficit on the macroeconomy and on the living conditions of Nigerians are obvious. According to the Africa Development Bank, Nigeria grew at 5.4% in 2013, but the bank reckons that the expansion rate would have been greater by about 2% with adequate infrastructure in place. For instance, some of the worst highways include the Shagamu Ore Onicha Enugu Potakut Road, Ikorodu Shagamu Road, Okene Lokoja Abuja, Rejao Kontagora Road in Niger State, Abuja Mina Road, Abuja Kaduna Road, and the Kaduna Zaria Road. The long abandoned Lagos Ibadan Road is already receiving attention. In 2016, the federal government budgeted 1.75 trillion naira for capital expenditure, and as at October 2016, 753 billion naira has been released for capital projects. In the 2017 budget proposal, 2.24 trillion naira is budgeted for capital expenditure. In just a few months, when government went back to its job of maintaining highways, we saw the difference. So. If we do this for another one year, uh, and mind you, this government is still implementing its first full budget. We haven't finished our first full budget. Whatever time it may have been that we have been in government, we have just gone halfway of our first full budget, and you are beginning to see signs. Indeed, the federal government will have to turn around the situation for the nation to achieve her full economic potential. In our interview, the national president of the Nigerian Society of Engineers, Engineer Otis Ayaiji, speaks on the planned closure of the Abuja airport for maintenance work and other infrastructure challenges facing the country.
Engineer Oti Sanyeji, you're welcome to the program. Thank you, Gloria. Well, let's have your suggestion right now on the maintenance of the Abuja airport. Many are saying that, or uh, well, you even joined voices to say that it should be done in tandem with the maintenance work. We are of the view, the Nigerian Society of Engineers, that uh, the work for the rehabilitation of uh, the runway of the airport should be done on segmented basis. Segmentation, of course, means that you divide the work scope into packages that can be accomplished on a nightly basis. In other words, you determine what length of the runway you can start and finish everything about it within seven and a half hours night. Is that possible? Of course, I mean, that is being done elsewhere. And we gave example of how that was done in Frankfurt in 2005. And uh, of course, some people were saying that Frankfurt has many uh, wrong ways. But the issue was that those ones they were working on were not closed. They did not record a reduction in flights. The wrong ways that were being worked on were also used for flying. And the work was done in such a way that the materials used could harden enough by morning time for Boeing 747s to land on it without uh, the formation of the material itself and it not being that hot to bust any tire. Are you, are you comparing the equipment, the, the planes, the environment to that of Frankfurt? Developing countries, like, developed countries like that? Of course. Flying is international. It's not local. The conditions for flying are the same everywhere. So, I mean, one cannot do Nigerian factor with flying or with the, the airport. Yes, we have delayed maintenance, but I mean, the, if it really gets out of hand, nobody will fly to this place. Are you working with the federal government on this? Sure, we are, we, we are at the Senate today to make further explanations. We had a press conference last week to also state the facts about this. And we had a meeting yesterday with uh, the permanent secretary of the Ministry of Aviation who led a team of uh, chief executives from the parastatals in the, under the aviation sector. And we made this uh, clear to them. And we even had the understanding that, yes, it is possible to repair the airport without closing it. But in their view, there were many difficulties associated with that. And it's because of that that they are uh, opting for this closure within six weeks. And if they would admit there are difficulties, for them, technically, it is possible. So it's no longer a technical problem. What kind but, of problem is it? Well, I think uh, those problems must be managerial or, or something else, but technically it can be done. And if they were to up their management, act, certainly they would enter the records of those who have you know, uh, carried out maintenance of their airports without shutting it down. And in accordance with the International Commission on Airlines or, or you know, Operations uh, Standards and Guidelines, ICAO. So is the government buying into your suggestion? The Senate understands us perfectly. And I believe that uh, they will be able to weigh in on uh, the 